All right, look around. I'm out in the middle of the forest, way out, walking up an old logging road. And I got something right there. It's a repeating 85, and it's about six to eight inches deep. Feels kind of big, but maybe not. Found some good stuff up here before. See what we got. Hopefully you can see this. That's a pretty nice view. You see a farm over there on the hill. More pasture land. That hill over there looks awful funny. Looks like a big mound. Look at that. Well, anyway, later. All right, I'm out. All right, um, this was right there. You can see all that hematite I find on the river is real close to this creek. This is the source of it. That's why I walk these creeks. I'm looking for flint sources. There's a, I'm pretty sure there's another Crooksville chert type deposit coming out around here someplace because I'm finding it like I was on the Flint Ridge State Park and I know it's here. And I've been walking a bunch of new creeks this year. This has just got this big hematite all over it, plus small pieces, and it all catches like gold in the little catches on the corner where the water pushes it in. This would be a good place to melt tech Where you see the hematite, it's where the stuff's catching. That's where you want to look. Um, I should probably take it. I bring a bucket with me and take a lot of stuff. I can make paste from this. Look at that. That's a beautiful red color. That's, look at that. I'm taking that. Well, anyway, I'll get back if I see anything else. That's a pretty interesting find. That's a big piece. There's pieces in here, though. I don't know, the size of a basketball. I've seen them before. Um, I might get some pieces of that and slab it down or something and, and sell it. You can make some nice pieces. And there's candle coal all over the place, too. Look at this. There's a nice piece. Well, anyway, later. That's pretty gross, the poor old guy. That's a dead coyote. They're all over the place here. Man, look at the paws on that thing, a poor old boy. He didn't stink so bad, I'd bury him. That's too bad. Look at his teeth. Poor old guy, that's too bad. So anyway, um, I'll get back at you. I just wanted to show you that. Not too many people have seen a coyote up close like that. Well, anyway, later. Pretty cool place, huh? I'm not using the Garrett Ace 400. I'm looking for some really early camps today in the woods. I'm heading up and doing some flats. Hopefully I can find some good stuff. Later. All right, I'm out in the woods. I'm up above where I showed that water rushing down. I got a nice hit right here on the side of this hill, right see like this point, right below this point. I like to look these places because there's lots of erosion here. Whatever was on that point that was lost, chances are it's down here on the side of the hill. There's lots of junk probably in here, but that's a pretty good solid signal. It's low 80s and it's pretty solid and it's right there. And it's about two to four inches deep. Um, let me just get the pen pointer out and try to do this one live. It's hard to tell what this is. It's 
It's right here someplace. See that little, that's a good sign, there's brick. Oh, this might be a good spot. I see it, it's right here. Oh, it's a coin. It's a coin, baby. Oh, and it's an old wheat scent, and it's a real green one. Man, that's good for in the middle of the woods. Um, you know, you saw that little bit of brick here. I might be on to something. Hopefully I can find some silver. Some old early silver. Later. Um, right here in this, over there is where I found that penny. You can see the water over there coming down the hill. Right here, right at the base of this hill, got a fire musket ball. You can see it's flat on that side. It's an old one. It's definitely fired. Well, I'll get it cleaned up later. Kind of cool. Later. I'm walking along up in the woods and walking along these old logging trails and look what I walked on folks Nice antler. It's a nice one. Wow Real fresh one nice It's a beauty Sure is all right later this is a real cool area, real ferny with rocks on the side of a hill face. And look up there, I'd say, without a doubt, that's an eagle nest. That is just massive. That's a good 75 yards up here. I'd say that thing's the size of a small compact car around. It has to be seven, eight foot across anyway. I'd say eight or more. I mean, look at the size of some of these branches. Wow, that's something else. Well, anyway, I'm seeing some cool stuff today. Um, hopefully I can find something real old with the detector. Later. Well, I'm out in the middle of the woods. I'm on a point overlooking the Ohio River, way up on a hill. And there's a big pile of rocks in here and I got a hit right here and check out what it is. It's a big old horseshoe. And man, there, there hasn't been any activity on this hill with a horse for a long time long time well, anyway it's a pretty cool one later um i'm out in front of a 110 year old tudor style home um i do a lot of detecting here but as you know if you get out you can't get everything i got a real nice hit in here and i thought i better start filming it after i took some of the top off there was a bottle cap in there but there's other hits and that's why it was jumping around um i'll show you this could be silver i'll show you what's ringing up here well there's other stuff in there now but i was getting like an 83 to an 89 repeating i'm gonna see if i can't get it out of here and uh I'll show you when I get it. It's too hard holding this. Let me see if I can't get that. Well, anyway, I'm just going to find it and see what it is. Later.
All right, I'm back out. It's next day after I found a black end scraper and that bone sticking out of the ice. Um, it rained all night hard, but sometimes that is not good on the river. Would be great in a cornfield. But I'm looking at the base of a slant that comes off of the base of the bank that goes straight up pretty much. It angles a little bit, but it's pretty much straight up right in here. You got that layers that are in here that came out of the bank. And sometimes you can see you get these gullies and it pushes all the sand out in the water and covers all the fire rock. So in places you're limited. Um, but there could be something washed out up there, but it's already been looked hard. It's hard to tell if I'll find anything, but I'll probably have to look hot today down further. And if I get anything, I'll show you how I did it and what I was doing. Later. All right, I walked up onto a fire pit. This is a good one. This had snow on it the other day when I was here. First thing of interest is this. It looks like it has little pecks down in it. And it's like a squared off rock and it's flat on that side. Right here, we got a real old show. Right up here, we got some kind of big iron spike. It's probably railroad related to find it all the time. Right here we have this rock. The Indian thought that this was a river pebble chert. I can tell you because that's what the cortex of all of it looks like. And he broke it open and sometimes it's not quite chert. He broke that off and threw it back down because it wasn't good enough material. And I saw another piece right here. This looks like the same cortex, and this is probably, nope, that's, well, could be pebble chert. Just looks pretty good. I'll get back if I see anything. Later. All right, I'm standing out in the rain. I'm getting sick, but I don't care. Um, I've got a pretty cool item here. It's right here. Um, this is a piece of real heavy hematite and what this is is these little river pebble church see how it's all beat up it's an exhausted little spalling hammer and they use this with the weight of it like with the river pebble chert hit it and get the napping started and this is an exhausted one and look how it's all just and it weighs as much as lead and i saw another thing a little flake tray right here See, right there's the river pebble with the cortex on it. River pebble chert. And right there's the inside um, flint gray. You can see it's kind of got a gold cortex. And hell, that could have been the spelling hammer that they, this is all sifted from one little spot pocket. So it could be related. Later. More information for you. If you walk a place on a river, you don't find nothing doesn't mean there's nothing there right here in this spot from this root ball right here above my sifter down to that root ball right there to tip of my finger right on the edge of the water i probably found in the past 24 months at least 24 25 26 artifacts i thought about it for a few minutes right minutes right in here um and tons of flint and this is right where the big chunk of crooksville chert came from and all the tools that were around it were made out of the same block of a flint so it's a cache and i got all kinds of flakes off the block and i found like a little tiny big sandy here it's got a weird base on concave base on it so it's just about conditions um there's layers of fire rock here i've sifted it but it's under the sand and you can see it just a tad bit above here right here's a little coming out but it's all sanded in from the last high water. See a little bit right in here. This would be a good spot to look because stuff can get hung up coming out there. But see, little bit sticking out. Most of it's about a foot and a half under. Peel that off to sift here, but I've already done it. Um, so don't give up. It's just about conditions, that's it. And you know, you could walk a place 30 times and then go back and find 10 points. It's happened to me. Um, but anyway, that's more info for you. It's raining. I'm going to try to find something, but it's not looking good. I haven't got nothing yet except Flint. Later. All right, I think it's like Saturday morning. Um, I'm out walking. I don't even know what time it is. It's early. But I got something here. There's no doubt what that is. That's a work piece of Flint. It's a little tool of some kind. It looks like nice Flint. 
Oh, it is. It's real nice. Look, look at that. That's probably Crooksville, and you can see it turns into that gray. Let's get that orange lightning line in it. That's a good example of like the variety of Crooksville that you see. Look, it's even translucent in there. Some of it is high grade. I see more of it than anybody's ever probably seen in their life. I find flakes of it every day, and I'm out every day. Here's a nice one. Later. All right, I'm back. I get something else laying out. Doesn't look spectacular, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like some kind of a preform or something it's right here. This is what it is. It's cracked up a river pebble. They started to form it into a preform to make a point. And look, they got that stack on that side. I bet you there's a bad spot in the flint and they couldn't work it down around the cortex. I'd say there's a hard spot. Like there's a knot in wood right there. You see it. That's pretty cool. It's nice material. A flake of that would be real translucent. It's that golden cortex with that greenish translucent, like that real nice find of the year point I found on me. So that's what the stuff comes from. Look at that. Anyway, later.